good day. Welcome back to Sunday School. And now we're going to have another primary lesson and to begin with an opening prayer. Then we'll have an opening hymn. Kindness begins with me in the Shalom Sombo page 145. And this will be our lesson that will be covered for June 6 to 12 in the book of Ruth and first book of Samuel chapter 1 to 3. My heart I rejoice it in the Lord. So how can we uh, how can we be happy with God? So Ruth here is a very good example of a Christ-like attributes. So I can show love and kindness to those around me. When Ruth's husband died, she could have stayed in her hometown, but she chose to go with her widowed mother-in-law named Naomi and care for her. Consider how Ruth's Christ-like example could inspire the children you teach to be kind to those around them. So this is Ruth and Orpha, and, their, and here is their mother-in-law named Naomi. So uh, all of them are now widowed, and they could choose to go back to their hometown and live freely. But Ruth uh, care or worried about Naomi's condition that she's already old and no one uh, he has no uh, she has no no more uh, she has no more ch children because they all died now and who could take care of Naomi's at her age so Ruth decided to stay and take care of Naomi so we can go to her story here so let's go okay this is Ruth and Naomi so when they lost their husband, so Ruth decided to stay while Arfa, so she returned to her home. And then Ruth wanted to stay and take care of Naomi. So Ruth and Naomi heard the land of Judah had crops again, so they traveled there. So they looked for opportunity to, to sustain their needs. So Ruth worked hard and she was noticed by, um, by Boaz. So Boaz also um, give, um, adv give her some benefits here. So he told the service to leave more grain in the fields for Ruth. Now, Naomi wanted Ruth to have a family. So she encouraged, she encouraged Ruth to marry Boaz. Ruth knew that if she and Boaz got married, they could take care of Naomi together. Ruth decided to ask Boaz, Boaz to marry her, and Boaz knew Ruth was a loyal and virtuous woman, so he agreed. So Ruth and Boaz got married. Soon Ruth had a baby boy. He became the grandfather of David, the future king. Many years later, Jesus Christ was born into this family line. So in their, uh, they are the lineage of Jesus Christ. So they show really a great uh, unity and love for one another. So we can see that a woman who has virtuous and loyal and who care for other people are being blessed and being sustained. Though there will be challenges, we can see that uh, God is have seen her hard work and sacrifice. That's why he was, uh, that's why she was being blessed too. Okay, let's go back to our lesson. Okay, here in first book of Samuel, chapter one, verses one to eighteen. Heavenly Father hears and answer my prayers. So this is Hannah. So another Wonderful example of a woman who is virtuous and who has faith in God. When Hannah was sad because she could not have children, she turned to the Lord in faith and he answered her prayer. So let's help the children see that they can always pray to Heavenly Father, especially when they are sad. So some women are longing for a child. So Hannah actually went to the, uh, to the temple and prayed hard pleading that she could bear a child and she make also a covenant to God that uh, if she bear a child she will give it to the Lord to serve him throughout his, uh, throughout the life of his child so here in uh, uh, first book Samuel chapter 1 verse 10 and she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. So she was crying so hard. She was so sad that she was so lonely. 
and she could not bear a child. She was pleading that the Lord will grant her wish or prayer that she could bear a child. And it was granted. Actually, Eli, the prophet, came to her and told her that she will have peace and while she was pleading and praying in the temple, will be granted. So first, so we can see in this picture, for, for this child I prayed by Elspeth Young. So I know that there are some women that are still waiting that they could have a child and they're longing for it. And um, it could be unbearable pain also, longing for, a, for having a child to have a complete family. So Hannah keep her promise to the Lord. When Samuel was old enough, she took him to serve in the house of the Lord. He served with Eli, the priest. Hannah continued to visit Samuel. She brought him clothes that she made for him. The Lord blessed Hannah with five more children. So we can see here that after giving a birth of Samuel, she was again blessed with another five more children. And she keep her promise that she will give the child in serving God. So yeah, he give, uh, she gave Samuel to prophet Eli to be a priest. So as mother, we should seek for the welfare and for the growth of our children, both temporal and spiritual. So we should be the one to guide them and having more stronger faith and a desire to serve God. So here in book, uh, first book of Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 10, the Lord has done many wonderful things for me. So Hannah showed her gratitude to the Lord with a beautiful poem of praise. Her example can help the children think about the many things they can thank Heavenly Father for. So Hannah is also a wonderful, has a wonderful gift from God that she could actually write a poem of praise. So if we have talents in singing or dancing, we can offer to God to give uh, to show our gratitude or give thanks to God. Okay, so here are the here is the the poem that we can read in the book, uh, first book of Samuel, chapter 2, verse 1 to 10. So this is a really wonderful poem or passages in the scripture. So, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiced in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as thy Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock, any rock like our God. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy Come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him action was, actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and that they were hungry cease, so that the barren had born seven, and she, had, and she that had many children is wax feeble. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raise it up the poor out of the dust and lift it up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. So we can see her that she have very great understanding of the way of God that how powerful and how can we uh, should put our trust in him that he can actually do many things and many wonderful things and he can make uh, he can bless us or he can curse us he can lift us or can put us down he can make us rich so uh, everything is possible when we pray and trusted God so this is really a wonderful passage that you can it can actually help us to be reminded of God merciful and loving and his powerful. 
Okay, so here is the activity that we can do in our primary class. So Heavenly Father hears and answer my prayer. So we can color this picture of Hannah praying. Then in the space below, draw yourself praying to Heavenly Father. Display your picture at home as a reminder to pray to Heavenly Father each day. So when we plead, when we pour out, when we pour out all our heart and asking for God's help and mercy. I know someday that God will grant our petition or what we are hoping for. And I know when our prayer is have the righteous intention or desire, it will be granted. We just don't know when it will be, but time is allocated with his timetable. So we have just to put in uh, our trust in him. Sometimes God will get uh, will give us exceeding more or more than what we are asking so we just have to keep our faith in him and to continue to be prayerful and to do uh, to do righteous and to have a righteous also desire in our hearts and we can see that he will be with us and he will actually grant the things that we are hoping for like what happened to hannah so i know the things i have shared to you are true and i would like to leave that in the name of jesus christ amen so thank you for all your support continue by subscribing like share and comment and hit the bell so that you will be notified to my next coming videos here. So Monday and Friday, I have premiere. So uh, here are some more ways to support this channel by super thanks, super chat, and super stickers. So see you to my next coming video. See you and God bless. Have a blessed day.